Hey, what's happening, you one, Sir James from GamerFusion.com, coming at you guys with another Destiny Armor video. And in today's video, I'm here to show you guys the complete armor set known as Days of Iron for the Titan class. Now, I did a video like this yesterday for the Hunter, showing you guys what the armor looks like in its Phase 1, Phase 2. Well, today, I'm here to do the same for the Titan class. And, of course, I recently got all the ornaments, so now I can showcase this armor in its Phase 2 glory. Right now, you are currently seeing the armor in its Phase 1, but before I go further into that, let's go ahead and go over the main thing is how exactly do you obtain this armor. It's actually very simple. If you head on over to the progress screen, you will see a record book for Rise of Iron. By going to more information, you will see a reward screen, and this is where your armor is obtained. By completing a variety of different tasks, which from the last time I showed you guys this, I was level 17, but now I'm level 18 because I completed all the exotic quests, which my last one being the Year 3 Thorn Bounty. So you have different things such as patrol mode, raids, and of course crucible, and again by completing tasks you can level up and obtain packages. Once you reach that level you simply obtain your package. When they first drop they will drop at a light level of 340, however if you obtain them a second time they will be at a measly 3, which in this case you can infuse it. And I believe if you require the same packages over and over again, technically that's a way to re-roll the items to kind of get what you want. So simple as that. And of course, I now have the shader, which I can show you guys. Anyways, back to the main character. Here is what the Titan class looks like. So here is a 360 degree turn here. And this armor set, once again, is fantastic looking, no matter what character you have. And every time I see the Titan, I th keep thinking of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. But again, really love the armor set. Now here is what the armor looks like with the banner unbroken shader that you can get from that package. Overall, has a much more of a shinier look to it, but still looks pretty cool. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that every time you obtain the packages, you actually get three sets of the armor. You actually get one for each character, meaning that you don't have to do this all over again with your other characters, which is pretty cool. Now to go ahead and show you guys what this armor looks like with some close-up shots. So here is the helmet. Here are the gauntlets, which are really awesome. Here is the chest plate, followed by the leg armor. And last but not least, we have the mark. So that is what the phase one portion of the armor looks like. And now we are going to transform the look of this armor to its phase two. How you do that is actually quite simple. All the way on the right side from the helmet all the way to the mark is the option known as ornament, which will require you to have tokens and of course silver dust in order to activate them. The helmet costs two and some of the other ones cost one, so depending on the portion of the armor may require one or two ornaments plus silver dust, simple as that. And you can choose to activate or deactivate anytime you want and you won't lose any type of status. So first off, here is the helmet. Next up, we are going to activate the gauntlets, followed by the chest plate, which is similar to the hunter. Next up is the leg armor. And last but not least is the mark. And of course, here is what the armor set looks like for the Titan class. As you guys can see, you have this fantastic flame look to it all the way around. Again, similar to the Hunter, but of course with a slightly different look to it, especially with these gauntlets right here, which just look awesome. Look how detailed they look. But once again, this is the Days of Iron armor set for the Titan class. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But if you've already beaten the campaign, then you guys pretty much know you become an Iron Lord. And what better way to be an Iron Lord with this armor. And of course, before I forget, here's what the armor looks like with the banner unbroken. Again, simple as that. And I definitely a must have. But once again, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.